and welcome to a rather windy night down at the Pilot Pier in Hartley Pool, commonly known as the Green Light. Fishing the rocky ground off the left hand side, uh, we've got some big baits out. So we're going to see if we can finally get those elusive winter cod, because they have been coming in recently. So stick with us and we'll show you exactly what we're getting up to. Right guys, I'm uh, just getting a good bite here, yeah, I'm just sure to a flapper on, just for uh, the time being, just to get the blank out of the way, a bit of ragworm, it's uh, rod just going bonkers a minute ago, so, let's see. Nope, it's still there. Let's have a look. Could be a little white in, I think. At least this wind's died down a little bit anyway. Something done. Uh, it's a decent sized one. Decent sized Viking. So I was taking the bottom off. Hook dress. Whiten number one. Have a look. Right, there we are, guys. Whiten, share the box. Thirty-one centimeters. Thirty-one and a half centimeters. There's the blank out of the way. Just going back. So get rigged up, tell a lie, I'm already rigged up. Back to a big back to a big rig. I'm all tangled, that's where I am. So I'll get this dealt with. And I'll get it back out and get fishing again in a bit. James is just having a very, very shy bite there. Don't know if you can make it out. I think there's a little one that snatch my bait and one, to be fair. Oh, looks like it's starting to rain. Yeah, it does a little bit. Keep an eye on that, and I'll uh, bring you back as it develops. Still there. 
生人。mini squid, two black lugs, and a size four or cotton roll and specimen extra. And the bites have been crazy all night, haven't they really? They wouldn't be fish we wouldn't be fishing for about half an hour. What have you got on this? This one has razor. Little bits of razor on some really small hooks on it to flapper. And again, it's just a blank breaker. I mean, I've had a, a little baby whiting earlier. But I'm hoping just to get a decent sized one. Because they are quite fun to catch. And then I'll go back to trying to catch a cod. But I think this one has snaffled me a bit. I'm done once, so I'm going to get this in. Get this bait swapped over. And uh, see where we go from there. Maybe a fish on this actually. No, there isn't. Nope. I'll get this rebated and get it back out. such sharp little teeth they just rip the bait clean off them without actually getting them open itself. You can feel it, it's just tiny. So try and just move the bait a little bit and we'll leave it. this out. Just put some pop-up uh, beads on the ragworm. Must have literally just hit the bottom of that. Then knock straight away. So it's small, whatever it is. So I'm not sure if it's on. If it is on, it's only small. It looks like you're not too settled, isn't it?
I have that bike going back, and I think Ian's on. Yep, he is. Two mackerel. Two mackerel? Have they just come off? Nope. It's a mackerel. Mackerel on a worm. Mackerel on a ragworm. That's a big mackerel as well. And then I think we've even got a little white on the other one. Yeah, yeah. Right. And there we have it. Mackerel caught. On ragworm. So I'm going to keep that for a bit. In a bit. Yeah, I did. The bite was mint. That's mine, eh? Right guys, so we've been fishing a couple of hours. Uh, shoes and rest of the rug wear them up. As soon as they sit in the water, we're getting bites straight away. We're getting plagued by whiting. Um, so, between me and James, I've had a mackerel caught on a ragworm. Uh, we've had about 20, 30 whiting. Easily. Easily. You get to a point where you just stop counting, don't you? Yeah, so. It's half time now. You've just had a waiting rattle. So you can see. It's pretty flat and it stops when you try and see it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think you can see that. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's been the story of tonight, unfortunately. Waiting, waiting, and more waiting. But the elusive cod is still hiding. Yeah, so we're not a cod like. No. But. But you've got a mackerel on a ragworm. And it's turning quite a pleasant evening. It's about 11 o'clock. Half 10, 11, I think. Um, about an hour. An hour in the ebb. Yeah, it's uh, the waiting just aren't going either. Non stop, isn't there? <laughs> it's still on your rod. Exactly. One day we'll get past him. You've just got to fish through them, haven't you? That's the theory. <laughs> if anyone's got any advice on how to fish through the waiting, please let me know. We'll see if we can get this one in. It'll disappear now because we're trying to video it. has turned into a nice peaceful quiet evening. A little bit of rain, wind stopped. Yeah we were only two on here now. Yeah, just us.
difficult. Stop biting now, isn't it? <laughs> it knows. They're a bit camera shy, so I've heard waiting. Well, we shall bring you back if the waiting comes back. Right, people. There we have it. That's what's been torturing me. I finally got it. This is about easily the 40th now. Easily. So, when you get it back, I'm going to try something different. Um, different rig, I think. Um, maybe some different bait. Who knows? What rig are you thinking? I don't know, I'm not sure. That was a pulley rig. I had a couple of knocks on that earlier. And that was just the mackerel that I caught. That's just all the guts out of it. With a, that I wrapped around the squid. So, could do that. squid. Uh, we've got fresh mackerel now. In fact I'll do that. I'll take all the stuff and I'll put some fresh mackerel out. Cool. Well we shall bring you back and let you know how that goes. Right guys. End of the video. Um, it's been good. Plenty of fish, plenty of action but unfortunately not what we were looking for. The whiting just absolutely massacred us from the beginning to the end, but no cod. Not one. Not even a Tommy. Not one. There was a mackerel though. Oh yeah, we had a mackerel. The only different fish we had. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you don't mind giving us a subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, we'll answer any questions that we can. Uh, until next time. Tight lines. See you later.